before his death buddha summoned his favorite disciple ananda and he said after i am gone the principles i gave you and the teachings i have left you shall be your master when our blessed lord left this world he never left any written message ideal and history were fulfilled in him the light which all ethical teachers came to give was not within them it was external to them it was the first person in the history of the world who identified divine wisdom with his personality and no one has done that after him and he would broaden this vision when he would say in john 14:6 i am the way i am the truth and i am the life it is equal into saying without the way there is no going without the truth there is no knowing and without the life there is no living religion cannot be explained in abstract codes and commandments it should be translated in love and that's what our blessed lord did all through his life and he said this is what god wants and this is the work of god that i have come to do plato one of the greatest philosophers said no one has seen god and even if someone sees god he cannot communicate that god to others but jesus said if you have seen me you have seen the father because i and the father are one and this is the testimony that jesus came to bear in this world to bear the love of god in every human being he meets and this is the same command that he asks us to fulfill in our lives are we bearing testimony to the love of god and the person of christ in our lives there is a very beautiful story about a rich baroness who was living in the highlands of nairobi a young man came to her and he asked whether he could spend 3 months working in a farm the woman was a bit reluctant for she was a christian baroness and she asked him to which religion you belong and he said i am a muslim but somehow the man pestered her and wanted this job and she said okay 3 months he worked in the farm and he picked up the job so diligently and after 3 months he came to that woman and said ma'am i would like to leave now and she said just now you have learned the chores of this job why do you want to leave if you want to hike in the salary i am ready to pay that and this man said no it's not for that i came to you i wanted either to be a muslim or a christian and i wanted to know how christians live and therefore i chose your house to see how christians live and i've been with you for 3 months now i'm going to a muslim's house to see how they live and this woman said why didn't you tell me this before i could have avoided very many blemishes that i unconsciously committed whether you are conscious or unconscious you are constantly reflecting that jesus christ whom you are following sometimes we give a very bad example of jesus of our own lives of our own religion to others how bad it is there is no such thing as secret discipleship either the secrecy destroys the discipleship or the discipleship will destroy the secrecy you are always communicating through your words and deeds that jesus christ you believe and you follow so see that you bear the best testimony as possible about that christ whom you have dearly accepted to follow and by that
people will know that we are Christians. Sweet heart of Jesus, make us know and love Him. Unfold to us the treasures of Thy grace.